So, do you remember this article I shared in a video I made about a month ago where I showed you that the world leaders were gathering in New York City for UN General Assembly? Remember that? This happened in uh, September. This is pretty much what it was, okay? They were meeting, discussing their plans. Who they were going to what? Uh, select. Furthermore, you know, when they sit down in these meetings, in that circle table, guess what they're doing? They're also getting insight from who? From Satan. And from the watchers that's exposing the future to them. Letting them know the things that I'm sharing with you right now. Yeah, they looked at all these things. You see, that's the reason why these things are called videos, which it goes back to visions. You see that? So in visions of the Most High is how I speak to my people. But the watchers, well, what do you think they call watchers? Because they're always watching. But all they see is blurred visions because they don't understand and they can't digest this knowledge properly the way that you, the believer, the one that understands these things, they can't understand it the way you do. That's why they come up with their own crafty consoles. That's why the Most High Howard calls them mockers. Because in the center, right, of this table here, in case you don't know, well, this is the North Star. Because again, these Freemasons, they don't pray to the North, they know what's up. They pray to the East, they pray to the West, but never to the North. The way that this is working is that they're trying to form a new world order where they're going to forget about the current currency. They're going to forget about, you know, their religions and they're going to start their own stuff. Now, let's go ahead and read this. In Jeremiah chapter 25, verse 9. I will summon all the peoples of the north and my servant Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, declares Yahweh. Uh, George Bush Sr., he introduced and announced the New World Order. And so what happened is that George Bush Jr., he wasn't cut out for the job. And so they had to put a hold on their plans. Wait for the right time. And besides all that, it wasn't on the most highest timing. Whether they think that they have a uh, power to do their own free will, whether they think that Satan, their master, is the one that's controlling them, but ultimately the Most High Yahweh controls Satan, controls everything. You see that? So don't get it twisted. Just because you delight in the power of darkness, do not think that the Most High Yahweh does not control the power of darkness. Okay? For Satan is just the representative of darkness, but he is not the owner of it. So the Most High Yahweh says that he's going to summon all the peoples of the North. Okay? The people who actually, you know, fund America and basically make up America. But they are, you know, on the low. They're just in the cut. They don't want people to know that they are the ones who really fund America. Of course not. As we know, America is a corporation, right? And so what's going to happen now is that America is trying to become independent on their own. America is trying to become the big shot now. And what you have to also understand is that by Trump becoming president, well, you know, the people who put him there, they basically started a war with the higher Freemason families. And those higher Freemason families are mostly Persian, Iranian, that's the real reason why you are seeing those things happening over there, okay? They can tell you whatever they want to tell you on the media, but in reality, this war is because of these rich people and their families and their lineage all fighting for power, okay? So this is why we have to expose them because they're not going to tell you. So look what the Most High Yahweh says, right? They're ready to play, so let's play games. Okay, so then we're going to stir this up. I will summon all the peoples of the north and my servant, Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, declares Yahweh. I will bring them against this land. See that? 
They wanted to continue in their proud ways. They want to continue in their evil ways. But the Most High will fool the people. You see that? For he said that your wickedness reached the heavens. And now it comes down on your own heads. As much as you may want to shave your heads now. But it comes down on your head. You see that? I will completely destroy them and make them a what? An object of horror and scorn. And an everlasting ruin. As it has begun to happen. Look what it says here. I will banish from them the sounds of joy and gladness. You see that? Because they were proud. They were arrogant. This spirit of Jezebel was at an all-time high. Because me, I always talk about these things. I'm not scared to say anything. It doesn't matter how women feel. It doesn't matter how men feel. But this is how the Most High Yahweh feels about these people who are proud, who think that their ways and their pleasures are more worthier than the Most High Yahweh himself. So the Most High Yahweh says that he's going to banish from them the sounds of joy and gladness, the voices of bride and bridegroom. Again, your religions, they're soon going to go bye-bye. I mean, they can't do it right now because it's too early, you know? They can't just take all these things away from you all at once. All right, so for those out there that may say, how can they take away our religion? Our religion is what makes up America. No, it doesn't. Freemasonry makes up America, and that's going to be your new religion, okay? Get ready for it. You don't have to believe me. But when you start to see all these churches go bye-bye, and your doctrines go bye-bye, and they start teaching you, more about the Constitution and more about Freemasonry and how Freemasons made up this country and all that. Don't say that nobody told you. They're taking out all of this homosexual stuff that they're teaching the children in school, which is a good thing. Praise Yahweh, because everybody knows that I never condone this whole, you know, uh, 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 LGBT pride thing being forced upon the children. And you know I never have a problem with you and what you do. That's your own thing. But the children are different. And this is something that those people was failing to realize. They have failed to realize that what they were trying to push was upon children. There's people to this day who are over 21, but they still need guidance. Because they didn't have the proper guidance. They didn't have the proper people in their life to teach them about certain things. Furthermore, a child, that's why it was very disgraceful, okay? So, again, I'm glad that that is happening, but here's the flip side of things now. But the Most High House says that people were going to be joyful, that we're going to be proud. And, but in reality, on the flip side of things, well, you're happy now, right? You're happy now? Panic shall come later. That's what you fail to realize. People are getting too caught up. And their joy at the moment, remember, joy only lasts but a moment. But the pain and the consequences, that lasts forever. Okay? So, it's a twofold thing that's going on. It's a good thing that the kids are going to be taught uh, uh, more productive things. But your children are also going to be taught things. Things that you are going to probably say, oh, well, no, 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 this, this is not right either. This is not right either. You see that? And then you're going to have to realize one day that you are a pawn in all this. You have no say so. As much as they tell you that your vote counts, as much as they tell you that your voice and your opinion matters, it doesn't. Only their opinion matters, okay? And if you are not from their bloodline, from their club, then you are a nobody. So always remember that, okay? When you look at the news and, you know, when you read the things like, that you see on TV and uh, the social media, be happy for the moment, yeah. Go ahead, be proud, you know, joyful. But we shall see what happens later. So this is why Yahweh says, I will banish from them the sounds of joy and gladness. They wanted to, you know, have pedophilia as a sexual orientation look what it says here the voices of bride and bridegroom what is that oh um i am non-binary 
Why is it called the voices? Oh, because when two people, right, get married according to this society, what do they say? Do you take this woman to be your what? Beloved wife, da 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 da. Do you take this man to be your beloved husband? So when these people, when these non binary people get married, how is it supposed to be? America's already going downhill. This country was already going downhill. Now you want to put us further down with the nonsense again. Like I said before, a lot of people are going to wind up in these mental hospitals. I wasn't playing around when I said that. I meant it. Because why? Because the Most High Yahweh told me that it was going to happen. That's why. Jeremiah chapter 1 verse 4. The word of Yahweh came to me saying... Before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. Before you were born, I set you apart. I appointed you as a prophet to the nations. Alas, sovereign Yahweh, I said, I don't know how to speak. I am too young. But Yahweh said to me, do not say I am too young. You must go to everyone I send you to and say whatever I command you. Do not be afraid of them, for I am with you and will rescue you, declares Yahweh. Then Yahweh reached out his hand and touched my mouth and said, I have put my words in your mouth. So real quick, I just want to say that the Most High Yahweh put me here to do what I have to do for his people and also to show the world that his will will be done regardless whether anybody approves of it, whether they support it or not. But furthermore, this message will be for these government leaders, for these Freemasons. For they will know that I am not too young anymore to understand these things. For they will know that in these times and in these days, I will speak to them clearly in their language and in their tongue. And they will understand it. See, today, Yahweh says, I appoint you over nations and kingdoms to uproot and tear down to destroy and overthrow, to build and to plant. You see that? That infamous G in your Freemasonry. We'll talk about it.